Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy GTK in the building. Yes, we back in the building with another mystery box video. And this one, I'm hoping it's a banger. So, just like your song in the thumbnail, it's a cam kicks box. And um we we gonna see what we gonna see what's gonna come out of the box. Like Cam hasn't had a good history in the past. And I figured I'd try it out now and see what happened. So how I got my hands on this mystery box, or even thought about getting this mystery box. My boy hypes me T. He's on Instagram, go check him out. Um he hit me up, he was like, yo, Cam Kicks is doing mystery boxes, you want you wanna go in on it and see what happens. So I always wanted to do one of these mystery boxes, but because of the past history, they've been trash and they've been trash. He admitted they were been trash. So I wanted to see if his new boxes were gonna be a little bit different. So I was like, you know what? YOLO. You only live once, right? So I'ma go in and get one. He went in and got one and it took a while to get here. I ain't gonna front. The first thing pissed me off kinda of a little bit with it. He hit me, I like I hit him up, I was like, yo, I want the box, blah 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 blah. And then the very next day, or maybe this I did it Sunday, and on Tuesday I got tracking. Typically, when you get tracking, that means the box is out. They um they gonna update you with all the tracking history and all that stuff. It took a week for that shit to move. So I immediately reached out to Hype Me Seat and I was like, "Yo, did your box move yet?" And he was like, "Nah." So we had the same situation happen to us. And then I decided to send him a message. He was like, "Oh, um, the boxes have been dropped off." We're waiting on shipping and everything to update from UPS and this, that, and the third. I'm like, in my head, if it's just me, just let me know in the comments. But when somebody sends you shipping or a tracking number, that typically means that you're going to get updates and stuff on how everything moves. And it's not going to take a week for it to move. But anyways, I've been going on about this rant intro too long. So we got ourselves a Camp Kicks mystery box. And we're going to see if it's either trash or... If he really prevents his boxes and it's worth it, so alright, so this is the box that we got. The box came in beat to shit through shipping. And um yeah. So let's hope nothing got damaged while it was shipped to me. So we you know, you know how the routine goes. Alright, so the box is kind of heavy. I'm gonna turn it over and y'all gonna take a peek, and then I'm gonna take a peek, and we're gonna see what we got in. Oh, damn. I feel like the box about to break. I'm sorry. I can't do that for long. Alright. Alright, so we got three boxes in here, and one of the boxes is like a big box. So, um, yeah, let's, let's go into it and see what we got so first shoe we got out of the box it's a Nike box uh, this is a Nike foam Posic the Olympic came out in 2016 it's used size 9 so it definitely is used this is the Olympic foam posits now these are tanks and um, yeah I, I got one of those and I put it through a lot and I'm pretty sure this got a lot more wear out of it you can get a lot more wear out of it the bottoms are a little bit you know from age and wearing and stuff like that but it's a pretty decent shape the other side the Nike is still inside on the insole you can still see it in there I don't know if they pick it up on the camera hopefully you can and they were asking 180 for these. So I'm gonna take a look and see what these go for on GOAT. So if you take a look right here, size 9, they're going for roughly about five, 500, brand new. This is used, so 180. I mean, I'm looking at like some of the used prices and I see the highest one, is, well, not the highest one, but somewhere around the same. Um, kind of what mine looks like or the one I got in the box looks like since about 205 so 180 seems like a reasonable price for it um, 
So hoping with that, I'm able to get roughly about 180 to 200, maybe pushing it at the $200 mark, but 180 to 200 for a size of the, I mean, <laughs> for a size nine in the Olympic foam posits. All right, so one shoe down. I'm gonna leave that big one for last. Second shoe we got uh, Jordan, Jordan 11 low, size eight. All right, so we got the snake skin, um, Jordan 11 lows. These came out, I wanna say 2019. It looks like it's brand new. And I know you saw like, you know, the yellowing on the bottom. That's basically due to age. Uh, when you don't wear the shoe, um, you just have it sitting there, especially the 11s, they start to turn color. But it looks like it's brand new. Doesn't look like it's been worn at all. No creasing on the toe box. And they had these going for 320. That's kind of a stretch. Um, let me see what they're going for and go. Eight, brand new, goes for 320. Sorry, for 300, they're asking is 300. Um, the last sale on this was, well, the last offer on this was 185. So, last sale was 300. It's a little ways off from the offer. Um, with the yellowing and stuff on the bottom, I don't believe I'm gonna get 320 for this. I'll probably do it at 280. Let's say two, 260 to 280. So 260 to 280. Um, you got a size a size eight in the Jordan 11 low navy snakeskins. So far, I don't know what to think about the box. There's only three shoes in here, but um, it, you know, it's not giving thousand dollar vibes right now. So last shot of the box. This thing right here. Never seen this before in my life. But it is a size 13, which is a big boy size. They actually had these going for 850. And I'm assuming because of the damaged box, they were going for 850. Uh, they're uh, Jordan 2, the Don. Again, I don't know much about the shoe. I'm not even gonna sit here and pretend I know much about the shoe, but it's a Jordan 2. And it looks like a special specialty pack, so let's open this up and see what's in here. Yeah, definitely the box is, is messed up. So this is the Just Dawn Jordan 2s. Brand new. At least the shoe's brand new. And these are nice though. I I can't I can't run on the shoe. It's like a cream colorway, dead stock. You can see like the suede on the sides. Sweet. Buttery. Buttery. But um yeah. Jordan 2. Not a lot of people like Jordan 2s. I'm one of those people who actually likes the Jordan 2. My first Jordan was a Jordan 2 low, like the Chicago colorway, white and red. But that was like that was like years. When I first moved to the US. Um and I, first, I got my first job, I got a pair of Jordan 2 Lowe's. And yeah, I don't know what happened to them. I think I wore them and beat them. But we're talking about these right now. The Jordan 2 Just Downs. And there's more in this pack actually. Um, besides the sneakers, they come with a dust bag for you to put the shoes in. And there's a hat. Jordan on the hat in red and there's a dust bag it looks like for the hat so hey again never sure never saw the shoe before first time seeing it first time to the channel so yay for that but let's see what this actually goes for all right so he had these going for 850 brand new not the damaged box these are actually going for 1175 so not a bad price if you look at it you know 850 is a pretty decent price um, when I look on here, there's someone else who has a, another Just Don on here. Um, they're asking $1,100 for it. So I'm probably going to go up just a little bit on the price just to see if I can play around with it. And if it doesn't sell, I can probably drop it a little bit. But um, I'm probably going to value this right around $900 to $1,000. 
just to see what happens. I mean, 850 is always like a fallback if it goes back down to that and I have to drop it down to that. All right, so unfortunately the camera died on me in the middle of explaining that, but um, yeah, those are the three shoes that came out the box. Um, kind of like my thoughts on it, besides the first interaction, I don't think it was that bad of a box, but um, that's gonna be, that big shoe's gonna be like a tough sale. It's gonna be a tough shoe to move, just for the simple fact that they want, the asking price is gonna be so high. So the other two might be easier moves, but if I do, if I am able to sell this at, let's say a grand, everything else is profit. If not, maybe 850 to 900, I'm still making profit out of the box, plus everything that I, um, plus shipping and all that stuff. So all in all, I, I gotta give the box like a B, a solid B, just because this is gonna take a while to move. Um, it's gonna tie up my money just a little bit to move this one. But um, I can't complain too much about the box. Honestly, they've come a long way. So shout outs to Can Cakes for making a decent box. Um, if y'all did like the video, go ahead and like, subscribe. Let your boy know what y'all think in the comments. I'm probably gonna bring another one to the channel a little bit later in the month. And um, we gonna try to keep the ball rolling because yo, this is tough. Like lately I haven't been able to get boxes that I wanna get. And Soul Steel is where I usually get boxes from. They're doing hype boxes, and hype boxes have like um like clothing in there, and clothing is harder to move for me. I don't know about anybody else, but for me it's harder to move. It's 2022, and I'm hoping this year is gonna bring your boy a little bit more success. Um, and I can expand and get more stuff to you guys and try to bring more stuff to the channel. So stay tuned, and I'm gonna try to continue bring y'all that heat for your feet. And until the next one, we are out.